What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here. Now on this channel, we've been covering many different AI tools, AI pair programmers, AI IDEs, a bunch of different ones, and a lot of them have similar functionalities, different functionalities, whatever the case is. But in this specific video, we are gonna cover a tool that is pretty unique. And it's actually, like I said, it's unique to any other tool that I've seen. You could do some really, really cool stuff with this tool. And guess what guys? It is free to use. This tool is called WebSim AI. We're going to show you what it's made of, show you how you can easily create websites and different designs and cool tools with this solution. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so here is WebSim.ai. I'll leave a link down below and you can go ahead, like I said, Create a free account. You can see I'm on the free plan here. They do have some additional paid plans and whatnot, but you know, for, especially for testing it out, you really only need the free plan. Now there are a lot of different features in this tool. And quite frankly, I don't know if we'll be able to get through all of them in today's video, but I will go through and show you some of the main features of this tool and how to, you can actually get started with this. Okay. So once you create your account, you will have this interface right here. So go over what we have here we have like a sort of like a web browser right here as you can see where you can say what would you like to create and we'll we'll get into this in just a second you can add assets so you can add images you could do something like how like v0 it works or you can upload a bunch of images and it will you know develop uh the ui for that you can see we have multiplayer stuff right here so we have um also oh, so, so multiplayer hot uh, new for you and following and then week month all time. So this is pretty cool because these are different tools designs um, Apps that other creators made which is actually really cool We'll show you some more of that in just a second because you can do some cool stuff in this This is not just like creating websites. You can actually create like little games or cool things that I'll show you um, in just a second um, And over on the left hand side we have like this chat interface so we can see edit um, so like we could go ahead type in what we want to create today. We can see our projects So this is like exactly what it sounds like. It's our your project something that you would um, Have like in Claude artifacts or Claude Sonnet or whatever. Okay, you have your likes So this is where you know you, if you like any um, different projects It will show up here and your browse so you can browse similar to how you can browse over here You can browse over here on the side pane as well up here we have notifications and then here you can copy url go to settings okay so in settings here it's pretty interesting you can actually add a custom api key so you can either use open router or anthropic if you want and they say they recommend open router because it has less rate limiting but you can also just use their um, free version right which has their own um, llm you know api in it so you can also select the default model Typically, I would recommend 3.5 Sonnet, but you can also do GPT-40, 01, 01 Mini, 01 Preview, Haiku, Opus 3, etc. Okay, so you can also go to Interactive Browser here. If you go here, you can filter by Hot, Multiplayer, uh, Recommended, etc. And you can kind of see these different apps right here. So, Stabby's Animated Doodle Toy. Do like Paintbrush. You can see a Paintbrush here. Fairy Dust. See, it's like fairy dust, shooting stars. All right, so this is obviously an app right here. Some something that you could build. You could heart it um, down here in the right. You can you can't see my faces here, but there's like a heart. You can view and remix. Okay, so I scroll this over here and see view and remix. So you could remix this, kind of like fork it in a way, and you know make changes to it, whatever. Um, and yeah, you can also go through different apps as you can see here, the never ending square pane, like a game here. So go ahead, you could play some of these or, you know, experiment with, we have multiplayer Minecraft. So it's kind of interesting. You can see here we're in like a little Minecraft game. Of course, it's not perfect, but um, you get the gist. This is pretty cool that you're able to build something like this. Now that I kind of showed you a few different examples, let's go ahead and actually, you know, showcase how to actually build these things, right? So there's a couple ways you can actually prompt this. So first things first, I'll show you like an example. Let's say if we wanted to create a website, 
All right, let's say we wanted to make a website about Minecraft and like the whole game or whatever. So I'm just going to create HTTPS um, Minecraft-Bible.com and we're just going to send this. All right, and boom, as you can see here, it created Minecraft Bible experience scripture in blocks. So Genesis. So in the beginning, God created the heavens, the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty darkness over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Chapter two, chapter three, Genesis, Exodus. So I didn't even really mean it to be like an actual Bible. I'm just going to say, make it more like a Rolodex of everything Minecraft. I'm going to hit send. All right, so now we have Minecraft Encyclopedia. You'll see here, there's like these blocks hovering right here. This is one thing that this um, tool web sim does really well is with images, with blocks, like with gifts, whatever the case may be. We'll actually be able to use the AI to generate things um, within the website, which is really cool. So now you can see here we have like blocks, items, mobs, biomes, enchantments. You can see like grass block, properties, hardness, tool, etc. We can go next. You can see stone, oak log. I'm just going to say make it have a header menu and more cool stuff. So now you can see we have a header menu right here. We have, you know, some more styling. We have a search feature right here. So if I go ahead and click on, let's say items. All right, now I'm going to say when clicking the links, they should generate new pages. Okay, so I did a couple other prompts here. I said there should be more links in the menu or side menu that load dynamic different pages. So you can see here, we got some different uh, links here. We also got some different links in the side menu here, dimension structures, ors, etc. As you can see here, if we go to dimensions, it is loading. Uh, structures is loading some of these aren't working correctly uh, you'll see here up here um, we have a type error um, it said error type uh, something so you click that it said once you fix it so now it's fixing that type error all right now you can see the type error is gone if you go up here to the top right you can copy the URL you can view the source code you can download the code delete settings and then log out of course so if I view source right here, we can see the code right here. So you could copy it, you know, import it over to an IDE, whatever the case may be. All right. So it's also really good at recreating different websites or clones. So if we go over here and type youtube.com or we could type YouTube clone, it's going to actually make a YouTube clone. And boom, as you can see, we got a YouTube clone here. It has sample uh, videos right here, placeholders. Um, we got very you know, accurate um, menu right here with the different icons. And as you can see here, we even got the YouTube logo. So it's really good with images, logos, etc. Um, it's It does shine in that category. I've seen, you know, we've done many different YouTube clones with different tools, and this one does a pretty good job. All right, so here's an example of a Minesweeper uh, XP. So play Minesweeper. It's on like a Windows desktop. You can see the start uh, menu right here. There's admin right here, admin panel, enter password, and then Minesweeper XP. You can select easy, medium, hard, etc. And you could add more different windows um, icons here with different games or whatnot. I'm going to say, can we add? And then I added the link to our YouTube clone as a YouTube option on the desktop. Now I'm going to click send. All right, and boom, we got it loaded up now. All right, this is from the old one where it says, I like cheese. But you can see here now we got YouTube XP. So if I click on YouTube, boom, we have our YouTube clone right here. So it's like web sim within web sim. <laughs> I guess you could even maybe prompt um, the YouTube clone maybe right here. Yeah, you could. So we can see here we got um, our YouTube clone. And you can add web sims within web sims and, you know, um, kind of have web sim inception there going on and there's like a lot of other cool things you can do too um, involving like adding them together and stuff and so you can take inspiration I would suggest like you know what I'm showing you in this video it's it's still basic compared to like some of these examples of people that are doing like 10 20 different prompts building like war simulators uh, make your own movie and a lot of these are actually functional things so I would definitely suggest checking them out and the cool thing too is if you go to some of these like this one right here for example called Jesus is back um, you can go here to the side and you can actually see how they made this uh, game so you can see version one make a 3d game with people then two, make a sky make the people move realistic it's like a game restart <laughs> 
Um, let the people walk around, make Jesus come down in a cloud from the sky, make Jesus kill everything, change the day of judgment, whatever. So you can see, you know, version 10. So this took 10 versions right here. Um, and you can do the same thing for all these other different examples in the hot multiplayer new for you or following section. And then you can take those ideas and make them into your own uh, project builds. Or you can actually just use their stuff. So you can see this one took like over 60. It's like a video game. That's pretty cool. It has like music. First person shooter here. Seems like it can't kill me though. Okay, it killed me. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright guys, so I think you get the point here. There's a lot of cool stuff with WebSim. You can definitely get very creative with it. I would definitely recommend checking it out, trying it out. I think some of the concepts of this tool um, are definitely very interesting and will be used in, you know, whether it's WebSim improving itself and becoming a much better tool, refined tool, which that will definitely happen, but also just some of these concepts in other AI tools and AI uh, coding tools and development where these are very easily able to build um these simulators or these games or these it's kind of a glimpse into you know being able to build games or building able to build live websites and things that automatically generate and i think in the future with ai you know very very soon if not already now to some extent uh, we will see a lot more creativity with people being able to just generate almost anything you know we're seeing it with software we're going to see it with video games we're going to see it with so many different things on the internet so other than that guys if you got some value here you like this type of content we make videos all the time around ai marketing sales business growth so make sure to like the video comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with our uploads also too guys if you haven't already joined our free community strikecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below to our free facebook group and discord channel and then also too guys if you haven't already joined our new community stride ai academy which is extremely valuable i'm going to be posting a lot of different course content learning content uh, you can network with myself as well as other like-minded individuals in the ai space marketing space entrepreneurs ai enthusiasts whatever the case may be it's fairly new guys and i know a lot of you guys have requested to join i'm going to admit a lot of you shortly i've just been getting a lot of things ready with it so make sure to check that out i'll leave a link down below other than that guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of a elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment centers that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents.